John Bennett here with Logic Pro X, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Delay Designer. It's one of my favorite tools to add delay to a portion of a song when I'm doing a remix, or especially in terms of voiceovers. Now, this is a, a voiceover for a remix that I'm doing for a cheerleading team, and I'll turn off the Delay Designer so you can hear the transition. In another video, I'll show you how to do the stutter effects for transitions that you'll hear here. But let's play it without the delay designer. Okay, so what we're going to do is add delay designer to this part of the voiceover. Now that I, it's, the voiceover is Aquarius, but you notice that I broke it up with the uh and then Aquarius, and I'm gonna use the, the delay designer on the Aquarius part. And if I go in real quick, I'll show you in delay designer, I've chose the quarter rising pitch. And what it's gonna do is just uh, delay on the quarter note and rise the pitch. Now also you can also change how many semitones it's going here, but I'm just going up one semitone. Let's hear how it sounds now. Pretty cool, huh? Now inside here, there are tons of delay effects. You know, often I'll just use the simple ones. You can have them pan, go back and forth. It's very powerful. Now you can also go in here and create your own by drawing in the delays that you want. I tend to use the presets and then maybe modify them a bit. Works out better. But that's an example. Now let me give you another example that you could do an alternative way instead of maybe um, stuttering something. So I've got the end of this song going out here. I did that manually. I created the stutter effect, which I show you a quick, easy way to do that in other videos. I'm going to just duplicate the track here. And I'm going to mute these guys. I'm going to bring down this B of baby. And I'm going to add that delay designer. Under delay. Delay Designer. And in this case, let's just do a simple quarter quarter pan and see how it sounds. Now, if it's not loud enough for you, you can jack this up a little bit here, maybe make it a little more wet. Pretty good, huh? Now, if that's not really you're not feeling that you can do a dotted delay that's going to change the the rhythm of it a bit i tend to not like that um, because it, it doesn't really flow with what i'm doing a lot of times some really cool ones i like the um complex ease out is pretty neat Pretty cool. Now you add it to the mix. Pretty cool, huh? That's the, the delay designer. And I'll be going over in more detail inside the VIP area on our website, logicprox.net, some more advanced techniques of how you can use the delay designer. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.